Hello collective. This is going to be a general message and we're going to see what your person might not be telling you right now. So just remember that energy is fluid. You could feel like the roles are reversed um, and only take what resonates. If you know something for factual to be true and you hear something different, only take what resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. So let's get right into this. Guardian angels, spirit guides, ancestors, hierarchies, and angels, please protect them. I have things I do this reading for the collective. Show me clear and honest messages for the collective. <clears throat> okay. So if you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I have always read tarot. Okay. So let's see, Aries. What is this person not telling Aries? What are they hiding from Aries, please, Spirit? What is this person hiding from Aries? Okay. So we're getting the Knight of Swords. So Aries, I feel like you don't know that this person actually wants to come forward here towards you. It almost feels like they like urgent, like they need to. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please. What do they want to tell Aries? What are they not? This can also be someone who's very impulsive. Okay, so we're getting the Four of Swords. Yeah, they're thinking about it. They said not those, so I'll put those back. They're thinking about it. They're thinking a lot about coming forward here and having a conversation here with you. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords, please. I feel like they're almost in like hermit mode. Yeah, they're gonna have a conversation with you about the ending, about the confusion. If you feel like this person made you feel like an option in some way, if you felt betrayed by this person, I feel like they wanna come in and they wanna talk to you about it. Um, tell me about this Ten of Swords and Seven of Cups, please, Spirit. Yeah, they want to heal this. Look at that, Aries. They want to heal this. They're, they're, they're going to speak their truth. They're going to tell you. So if you felt like they did something and you were confused, you were left confused by this situation, like you had no idea what was going on, um, you know, you just, were you an option? Were you not? What have you? This person wants to heal this. It could be, like I said, they could be an air sign. Aquarius is very heavy here, but there's lots of thinking going on here. There's lots of um, taking alone time to really process what has gone on here. So if you're, you know, in separation with this person, not speaking right now, they're going to come forward. I'll see if I can get a time frame for you, but they want to heal this. They're hopeful. They're hopeful by having this open, honest conversation with you um, that things can be mended between the two of you is what I'm getting. I feel like they, um, you know, I feel like at times you felt like you didn't you didn't know if this person was telling the truth or not. Um, so I feel like they just they want to come clean about um, everything. Basically, I feel like it's almost like the divine like nudging them too as well. Like they can't hold it uh, like in anymore. Like they need to get it out. They need to tell you here. Um, but they're hopeful. They're hopeful for this connection here. Um, tell me about the star. Let's just see. Like what are they hopeful for? Tell me about the star, please, Spirit. So yeah, heavy air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially Aquarius. Yeah, they want to invest in this. They want to step up to the plate here. They're hopeful that, but that by doing that, yeah, by taking this leap of faith towards you here, Aries, that you will be receptive to this, that they, that you will see that what has gone on, um, you know, especially if they took time apart from you, if they're in, like I said, if you're in separation right now, I feel like they um, they were thinking about the long term, even though it might not have felt like that. But even by having this conversation here with you, I feel like this person's thinking of the long term. They're like, okay, I need to do this so that we can move forward. They want to step up to the plate here. They want to, um, they're hopeful. They're hopeful that this will work out between the two of you here. Um, can we get a time? Actually, let me just take the yellows because those are the only time ones. Can you tell me about a time frame for Aries, please, Spirit, when this person will reach out? Thank you. Perfect timing. 
So we're, I am seeing within the next few months, but it's going to happen exactly when it's supposed to. And I know Aries, that can be really frustrating to hear. Um, but I feel like, let, well, let's get you some advice. What advice do you have for Aries then, please, Spirit? I feel like Spirit's going to encourage you to kind of just keep doing what you're doing. Focus on yourself here. Um, because I feel like, it's, yeah, look at that. Here's your advice. Focus on your passion, what makes you happy, step into your divine feminine, you know, um, realize your worth, know that you've, you've got it all. You don't need to, like this wasn't a question of like your worth here. I feel like this person, w for whatever reason, they took a step back here. I feel like they understand that there was a lot of pain caused um, and th th that they were confusing you. I do feel like that. I feel like they, and they want to own up to that, um, but they know you're it. So I feel like spirits, like whatever you're doing right now, that's like really lighting a fire under your butt that makes you feel really passionate. Keep doing that. Okay, Aries. So I hope that helped. Let me know in the comments down below if it did. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Let's move on to Taurus. Okay, spirit. Okay, spirit. What can you tell me? What is this person hiding from Taurus? What is this person not telling Taurus? Okay, so we're getting the Three of Swords. So I feel like this person's a lot sadder than you might think here, Taurus. I feel like they are, um, yeah, they're quite heartbroken over whatever has gone on between the two of you. Tell me more about this Three of Swords, please, Spirit. Um, we're getting the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the World. Uh, let me just pull on that. Tell me about the Three of Cups here, please, Spirit. I feel like this person knows they left you confused. I feel like they're confused as well. I feel like they know that they didn't... Um they didn't give you what you needed here. I feel like they didn't give you the commitment that they needed, that you needed, sorry. I feel like they didn't put the energy, the effort into this that, that they feel like you deserved. I feel like um, this person, you know, they want you in their life. They want you part of their world here. But I feel like they're they're almost confused by this situation as well. Um, I feel like this this heartbreak that they're feeling is not something that they've ever felt, felt before. Um, you could have felt like this person was like inconsistent, like maybe even breadcrumbed you, made you feel like you don't even know what they wanted. I feel like they knew that you needed a commitment here from them. You needed them to put in the energy, the effort that they just didn't. You're getting your own energy here, Taurus energy. Um, there's also a little bit of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and a little bit of air, Taurus or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Tell me about the Seven of Cups, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. You're getting the seven of wands. So yeah, this person's very defensive and you're also getting seven, seven back to back. So this is definitely a very significant relationship in your life. Taurus, whenever my cards start to sync up, that's a sure indicator from spirit for me. Um, there's deep soul lessons to be learned here, not just for you, but for this person. I feel like this person puts up a wall when it comes to their emotions. I feel like they pretend like they're even not confused, but they are confused. Um, but that could have made them act in ways that made you feel like you don't even know where this person's at like one day they're calling everything's good the next day they ghost or something like that and you're like what like what the hell are you doing um i feel like this person didn't even know they i feel like they didn't know how strongly they were actually going to feel for you but they just they realize that they're not giving into this connection the way that they need to so they've gone into them themselves they've gone into like isolation mode here um yeah anything else for what this person's not telling taurus please spirit They want to move past this. They want to move forward. Cancer energy here. Tell me about the chariot. You could also be at a distance from this person, like physical distance. Yeah, but look at that. Like they want this. Um, we're getting the sun, strength, so lots of Leo energy here and the queen of pentacles. This person wants to move towards something stable here with you. They want this happiness here with you. I feel like you make them so happy. I feel like... Um, you know, you light up, you light up a room, not just their world, but you light up anywhere you go, Taurus. And this person knows this. They want something stable here. This person could also be working on their money. Like they feel like they need to be more financially stable um, because I do feel like they want to provide here. I feel like they're, they're building up the courage over time here, Taurus, to come forward here because I feel like they, again, these are not feelings that this person has felt. I honestly feel like this person's used to breaking hearts. I have to just put it like that. And I feel like um, whatever has happened between the two of you, like they 
they feel heartbroken and they're like, whoa, wait a second. But they know that they haven't given into this. They know it's on them. That's the thing. Um, I feel like there's some hidden messages here for you, Taurus. So let's see. Spirit, what, what messages for Taurus, please? Thank you. I remember every detail of that day. My life is not as together as it seems. So especially like it could be financially here, Taurus, like if they put up a front, like everything was more stable than it actually was, because I do feel like they're trying to work on that. Um, I hid who I really am from you. So again, it, like this person could have been like the player type energy, the one who, um, and I feel like people like that, they're often insecure, right? They, they often, you know, feel like they have to connect with multiple people at the same time to like for some sort of validation, right? With you, Taurus, I feel like this was different. And I feel like um, even if they came off, like, like again, like they were inconsistent, like maybe they, they didn't put into this, like they're, I feel like that's not who they really are. I feel like at their core, they're actually like um, a very soft hearted, uh, genuine individual, but that's not what they put out there. Um, anything else for Taurus? Thank you. You speak to me through music. I feel like there's one more. Thank you. And I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. So I do feel, and, and I'm understand, I'm starting to understand our connection. I do feel like this person's understanding, like you're, you didn't just come into their life for no reason, right? Um, let's just see, is this person gonna reach out to Taurus? If so, when? We got take action. So Taurus, and I am seeing perfect timing, you know, this, this could be you having to reach out first and you might be sitting there screaming at the screen saying absolutely not and that's fine. But if, there's, if, if your intuition is telling you to reach out to this person first, they might feel like you don't even want them. Like they're, like, so they, it's not even on the table for them to reach out because they're like, well, Taurus will never take me back anyway or Taurus will never talk to me anyway, right? Um, so you might have to be that one to make that first move. But I mean, if you're not wanting to do that, you don't have to, right? Um, but yeah, okay, so Taurus, I do hope that helped. Um, if it resonated with you, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's move on to Gemini. Okay. Spirit, what can you tell me about what this person is hiding from Gemini? Let's see, Spirit, what is this person hiding from Gemini? What are they not telling Gemini? What is this person not telling Gemini? You're getting the Knight of Swords. So this person is definitely at least thinking about coming towards you here, Gemini. I feel like they um, they want to have a conversation here with you, but they're nervous about it. They could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or even a Scorpio. They're nervous about coming towards you here, but they think about it all the time. I feel like they even like wake up thinking about it. Um, yeah, sleepless nights here. I feel like this person's anxiety is through the roof. You know, I'm not a doctor, I can't diagnose, but I do feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about the ending here. And I feel like they want to come forward here and have a conversation here with you. They almost feel like they have to, like it's not even like they want to, it's like they need to, like they, it's like urgent. Um, tell me about that Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. I also feel like this ending has like, like transformed this person in some way as well, to helping them see things in a different way. So we're getting the King of Swords and the Magician. Yeah, this person definitely wants to have a conversation here with you. I feel like they, they at times feel like they don't know if they have what it takes to come forward here. Do you think this person can come off Gemini as like someone who's like very, very cold at times, very harsh? Um, almost seems like maybe they don't even like have that deep of feelings for you, but I, that's not what I'm getting. Um, tell me more with the Knight of Swords. I feel like it's like a front that this person puts on. The Five of Wands. Tell me more. I feel like they're going to be willing to fight for this here, Gemini. Yeah, look at that. They're going to be willing to fight for this here. Gemini, you, I don't even feel like you're going to see this coming. I'm getting like tower energy here too. You hear all those sirens outside? I feel like this is going to be like that. Like it's going to be like, that's how this person feels. They feel urgent. Like it's like an emergency. They need to come towards you. They need to talk to you. Um, yeah, it's weighing heavy on them. They, they, they're going to fight for this. They want to offer you a cup of love. They want you to have a fresh new beginning here with them. And I feel like they know that that means they need to come forward here, but they're really nervous to do it. I feel like you scare them a little bit and, and, you know, not to say you're scary, but I just feel like 
they're scared to have a conversation with you. This could be someone who like avoids confrontation, um, you know, is just one of those like fight or flight. They, they're a flight kind of person. Do you know what I mean? They do not like arguments. And it's not to say you argue all the time, Gemini. They just don't even want that to be a possibility. But I do feel like this person wants to fight for your love here. They want to fight for a new chance here. Um, let's see if we can get a time frame for you, Gemini. Spirit, what messages for Gemini? Thank you. We got within the next few months. So, and perfect timing. This keeps coming out for everybody today, but within the next few months there, Gemini. Okay, I do feel like there's a couple messages here for you, Gemini. So let's see, Spirit, what messages for Gemini? Thank you. I hid who I really am from you. I hide behind material things. So this person could be one of those people. Finding out the truth crushed me. I feel like finding out the truth about themselves. I feel like you, so many things reminded me of you. I feel like you said something or did something, Gemini, that really opened this person's eyes. Like I, And I feel like, like I said, the ending, whatever, if there was an argument like that ended things, you said or did something that like, really open this person's eyes like wow like I do do that or like I do need to change that so with this ending comes transformation here um I feel so um yeah I hope that helps Gemini if it did please let me know in the comments down below uh please like share subscribe if you feel drawn and let's move on to cancer okay spirit what can you tell me about Cancer. What is this person hiding from Cancer, please, Spirit? What is this person hiding from Cancer, please, Spirit? Thank you. The Two of Wands. They're planning something here, Cancer. Let's see. Tell me about that Two of Wands, please, Spirit. What is this person hiding from Cancer? They're planning something. They're looking into the future and they're trying to see like what exactly to do here. Um, okay, you're getting the Fool, the Ace of Wands, the Tower, and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, Cancer. So Scorpio, Aries energy here. This person is planning on coming forward here. They're planning on taking a leap of faith, coming towards you here. Um, they want a fresh new beginning. I also feel like the attraction between the two of you is like off the charts. This is going to come out of nowhere. This person wants you so bad. They see the long term here with you with that Ten of Pentacles. They see, um, you know, building a life together. Like this is, I feel like that's why they're so carefully planning it. Um, they're hiding that they're coming forward here. So expect the unexpected here, Cancer, especially with that tower energy. This is someone who feels like they can no longer do what they're doing. It's not working for them anymore, right? The tower is an energy of like, this is not this is no longer serving you, right? So it gets so uncomfortable that it's like, I have to, I have to take this leap of faith. So they're coming for you, Cancer. <laughs> they could be also a fire sign in Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius. But I also just feel like there's a lot of passion here that they have for you. Um, yeah, so be prepared, Cancer. Let's see if we can get a time frame for you. Spirit, what um, time do you have for Cancer here, please? Thank you. Within the next few months, I'm telling you, the last three signs all got this as well. And oh, perfect timing at the bottom again. The, the summertime, you know, can be fun at first. You know, it feels like the nice weather. Maybe you go have some drinks on the patio. And then you start to, like, look around and you realize, like, wait, like, people who are, like, you know, coupled up, like it's nice to go home to someone. It's nice to like talk to someone all day and say good morning and say good night and, you know, and like share these experiences with and go on hikes and have new adventures. And I feel like uh, collectively, especially since I just did the last three signs, um, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini, and now you're getting this as well, Cancer. I feel like collectively, um, people are starting to realize like, I, yeah, I want to offer my love to to Cancer, to, you know, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, what have you, because they, they want that. Like, people are starting to collectively realize, like, okay, wait, like, you know, Hot Girl Summer, Hot Boy Summer is, is fun for a little bit, and then it's like, um, okay, but now what? That's kind of like the energy I'm getting here. So let's see what messages they have for you here, Cancer. What messages for Cancer, please? I'm so attracted to you, yeah. You guys have a strong physical connection for sure. I love you unconditionally. Wow, Cancer. Yeah, this person's all about you. They want, like I'm telling you, they want that long term here with you. Um, I am seeing you and I were too young. So if this was someone like from your past before. Um, 
Okay, Cancer, so I hope that helped. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's move on to Leo. Okay, so let's see. Okay, Spirit, thank you for the messages so far. Okay, Spirit, what can you tell me? What is this person hiding from Leo? What are they hiding from Leo, please, Spirit? Wow, Leo, this person has a lot of love for you, but they're nervous. It, it, I feel like the love itself makes it makes them nervous because they're overwhelmed by it. But I also feel like they're they, they're nervous to tell you. I feel like they they are up at night thinking about this. I feel like um, yeah, they don't know how to tell you. They don't, and I, I feel like part of them wants to embrace how they feel, and then another part of them is like, this is too much. Like back off. Like I can't do this. You know that like almost like that pride in like Leos that is you know somewhat stereotypical but can be very true at the same time i guess so is it a stereotype i don't know anyway this person has deep love for you here with that queen of cups energy but it makes them nervous tell me more about what this person's hiding from leo please thank you they're undecided yeah i feel like like leo they want to they want to come forward here they do I feel like they've been putting up a front here. I feel like they want to, they're, they're indecisive. Tell me about this two of swords, please. I feel like it's just because they're nervous, like I was saying. Um, they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thank you. The three of wands, the two of wands, the three of cups, and the ace of pentacles. So you're getting three, three, and two, two. So look out for threes and twos. Um, this person is, they want to come forward here. They do. I feel like they're waiting for the right time. I almost feel like there could be like an event that they know you're going to be at that they want to um, also be at on purpose. Or there could be like a, you're like a friend of a friend. And so they're, they're, they're waiting for the right time to come forward here. They're waiting for um, that perfect moment, but they're going to offer you something here. They definitely want to. I feel like it's just, they're waiting. They're waiting for something here. Let me just see. What is this three of wands about? Thank you. They're wait, just waiting to have the conversation with you. They're waiting for the perfect timing here. You're getting two aces though here, Leo. Like, yeah, this person wants a fresh new start here with you. You just, I feel like this whole situation makes them nervous. I feel like they, they don't know how to act. And that's, I, and a, like, normally I feel like this person's not like that. Um, let's see if we can get a time frame for Leo, please, spirit. Can you get a time for Leo, please, here? Spirit, thank you for the messages so far. About when they might meet this person or this person will reach out. Thank you. Within the next few months, I cannot. All the signs have gotten this so far. Every single one has gotten within the next few months. And I was just saying in the last sign in Cancer, you know, I feel like what I'm getting collectively is I feel like there's this um, notion of like hot girl summer, like hot boy summer, you know, whatever, whatever. And it, that's fun for a little bit, right? And it's like going out and like having the drinks and being single, whatever. And then, and then slowly starting to realize like, okay, wait, I want to share this with someone. I want to share the sun with someone. I want to share beach days with someone. I want to share, you know, these adventures with someone. Um, yeah. So that's the, the kind of energy I'm getting here. Yeah, this person definitely wants to offer you something here. Leo, let's see what hidden messages we have for you, Leo. Hidden messages for Leo, please, spirit. Thank you. I want to be more than friends. So Leo, this could be someone that you're friends with, right? They want to be more than friends with you. And I feel like they're nervous. They're nervous to tell you that. They're waiting for the right time to have this conversation here with you and, and like offer you something solid. Um, this person could view you as someone who's like maybe not interested in commitment right now. Maybe you're both kind of out having fun. Okay, that was interesting. But the one that flipped, we got, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you, yeah. Okay, Leo, so I do hope that helped. Um, if it did and it resonated, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's move on to Virgo. Okay, let's see. Okay, Spirit, thank you for the messages so far. 
can you tell me what is this person not telling Virgo? What is this person hiding from Virgo, please, spirit? What is this person hiding from Virgo? Two of Pentacles. They're going back and forth between something. Um, they're juggling right now. The Hermit. Yeah, they're in like, there's their own energy. They're in Hermit mode right now. I feel like they're kind of not talking to anybody. They're doing just like a lot of observing, a lot of watching. Could be a Pisces as well. I feel like they're, um, yeah, they're kind of just in their own space right now. I feel like they're doing some soul searching, you know. Um, they could even be doing some like shadow work. Yeah, see, they're they're between like staying where they're at in their in their hermit mode versus coming forward and offering you this cup of love here, Virgo. I feel like they do want to. Um, I feel like they uh, they're just thinking about it a lot. They're 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 again they're doing a lot of observing, a lot of watching. I feel like they they want to be sure is what I'm getting. They want to make sure. So I mean that looks different for everyone as to like what needs to happen to be sure. Um, but let's just see if we can understand a little bit more. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please, Spirit. Look at that. Taurus energy here. Yeah. Like, they want to be sure because when they come in, Virgo, they're going to not only be sending you a lot of passionate messages, but they want a higher level of commitment. I feel like this is someone who, you know, you'll you're, you're going to date pretty much right away. Like they want to be exclusive, like right away. This is not someone where it's going to be like weeks or months of like, what are we like? What's going on? No, this person wants commitment. So, but they want to be sure. I feel like they want to be sure about you. They want to make sure you're on the same page, but they also want to come in a way that, um, come forward in a way that, you know, I feel like that you'll want to accept them and you'll be like, I'm okay. I'm yeah, I'm game. I'm game to, to do this as well. Um, tell me about the hermit, please spirit. What are they, what are they contemplating so much? Let's see if we can find that out. Yeah, their love, they're, they're, there's a lot, like, here's the thing. I feel like this person, when they love, they love deeply, right? They could be, a, uh, I was gonna say Pisces, but also a Cancer or a Scorpio. When they love, they love deeply. And I also feel like sometimes, th like they know that um, they can, Here, here's the thing. I don't like these terms, emotional, you're too emotional or you're too sensitive because I just feel like that is terms for people who feel really deeply, right? I feel like if you are, you know, if you feel something really deeply and then you act a fool, like you start breaking shit or like, you know, start wilding out, that's different. I don't feel like that's this person. Well, I don't feel like that's this person. I feel like, um, you know, I feel like they, they kind of just shut down even with that card just like falling out of my hand like i feel like when big emotions come up they kind of just shut down so they just want to be sure about coming forward here to you and like understanding that they have better control over their own emotions they could be meditating a lot um, to try and help them with that but let's see if we can get a time frame for you here virgo spirit can we get a time for virgo on this person stop this right now I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. This has come out for every single sign so far. Every single sign within the next few months. Don't, I was just about to say, don't even tell me perfect timing is on the bottom. It's coming, and okay, um, if you've watched the other signs, if you have other placements so far, you're, you're going to think I'm repeating myself, but I just keep getting this collective energy of people are going to be enjoying hot girl summer, hot boy summer for a few weeks. And then they're going to be like, wait a second, I want to, I want to enjoy this with someone else. You know, going out and being single can be fun and what have you. Um, but then realizing, wait a second, like I want to do this with someone. I want to share this with someone. You know, I feel like the whole like hot girl summer, hot boy summer thing isn't like, isn't for the collective I'm reading for isn't like the thing anymore. You know, I almost feel like subconsciously everyone is looking for something long term. Everyone is looking for something of a higher level. Um, but they're kind of just doing what everyone's doing, right? And if you're single, it's like, well, why not go out, right? If you're single, it's like, why not go out with friends and go to the patio and, and you know, do whatever you do, like have fun. But I feel like at the end of the day, everyone's really wanting this commitment. Okay, so let's see if we can get some messages for you here, Virgo. Any messages for Virgo? Thank you. We got, I regret lying to you. So if this person, you know, told you, I don't want this at all, for, for those of you who know who this might be already, and they went into hermit mode, or that they don't have feelings at all, that's a lie. And I look for you everywhere. I feel like there's one more. There it is. 
I want to be more than friends. This is what I'm saying. I feel like this has come out for a couple signs too. I just feel like there's this energy of like, okay, let's do it. Like everyone else is doing it. Like have fun, being single, whatever, no commitment. But at the end of the day, everyone's like going home. Like, no, I actually really want someone. And that's how this person feels too, Virgo. Okay, so I do hope that helped, Virgo. If it did, let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's go to Libra. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, thank you for the messages so far. What can you tell me? What is this person not telling Libra? What is this person hiding from Libra, please? Whoa. Wow. Okay, so we got the Seven of Cups. We got the sun, we got the chariot and the tower. So three majors right here. Um, this So Scorpio, Cancer and Leo energy. This person definitely wants to take things forward here. I feel like <laughs> this is confusing for them because they, they see you as you are their happiness. But I feel like they're, they're used to keeping their options open. I have to be real with you. I feel like they're the type of person where they're like, well, like, yeah, maybe someone could like make me super happy, but like, I'm still gonna like keep my options open just in case, right? I feel like with you here though, Libra, like this came out of nowhere. And I feel like this person knows immediately, like I do want more than just casual with Libra. Um, tell me about the tower, but I feel like they are, are confused on how to move forward with that, how to do that, how to tell you that, how to even, um, I feel like this is someone who hasn't been in a, a committed, serious relationship for like a while, um, or maybe has only had like a couple. Um, the five of swords, tell me more about the tower, please. Thank you. The eight of pentacles. I feel like this, per yeah, this person plays mind games. I feel like they know that though. I feel like they play mind games, um, but they're working on it. Yeah, and they're trying to heal it. Aquarius energy here. I feel like out of nowhere, they're gonna let you know, like I know I you know, probably made you feel like an option. I maybe even had other options going, um, you know, other people involved or talking to other people are just non-committal. I feel like they're like, no, that's like not what I want anymore. Like they really want to heal this here with you, Libra. Um, tell me about the star, please. Tell me about the star. Yeah, you make this person really happy, Libra. Tell me about the star, please, Spirit. Oof, the devil. I don't like that. Maybe this is con continuing with the mind games here, Libra. The Knight of Swords. This person's impulsive. They're extremely impulsive. I feel like, Libra, if you were the one that rejected them or told them, like, no, thank you, I don't want to be one of your options, this person's almost, like, obsessed with you now. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, tell me more about the devil, please, Spirit. Tell me more about the devil, please, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, like this person, okay, I feel like this person is the type of person they're going to apologize, they're going to come in, they're going to say everything they need to say, I want to heal this, you know, I'm working on like being consistent, but like I feel like at the end of the day that's, that's not true, I have to be real with you, I feel like this person is very impulsive. I feel like they know that you make them very happy here, but they, they're not ready to, for that. I'm so glad that that, got, uh, that I clarified that star because it seemed really good. So just be aware, Libra, like if this person's very convincing at first, um, but you know them to be a player, listen, player like tendencies and people who, you know, um, have been doing that and don't really have serious committed relationships or whatever, that's fine, right? There's no right, I'm not here to judge, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm just saying a mindset like that is not something that changes overnight right? It's something that does take time. And I do feel like it takes like a special connection for like someone to come in and be like, wow, like, okay, I want to be different. But um, if you know this person to continue like playing games, continue like being in and out, um, keep their options open. I feel like this person, they, they want you around. And I feel like it's almost like you were, you're different. You're different than the rest. Like, again, maybe you rejected them or like you, you know, haven't given them what they're used to getting from people. Um, and that's almost turned it into like a, like a cat and mouse game a little bit for them. That's what I'm getting here, Libra. Let's see if we can get a time frame for you here, Libra. Everyone's getting within the next few months. So let me just see if that's this one. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm telling you. 
Spirit is, this has come out, this time card has come out for every single sign so far, right? So collectively, again, if you're, if this is something that you've already heard in one of your other signs, forgive me, but if you're only listening to Libra, you, this is new for you, but collectively, I just feel like the energy is people are enjoying their like hot girl summer, hot boy summer for a few weeks. And then they're realizing like, wait a second, like I actually do want someone to commit to. I want to share these experiences with someone, right? But I feel like with this energy here, Libra, I feel like this person is almost going to like, like maybe their other options will kind of like, like trickle away and then they come back to you. But I feel like they're just a little bit obsessed with you too, Libra, because you, you're different. You're not giving into this person the way that they usually have people give into them is also what I'm getting. So let's see what hidden messages for you here, Libra. Thank you. I look for you everywhere. I feel you leaving me behind. This is what I'm saying, Libra. Like, I feel like this person knows that you're not playing around. Like, you're like, don't, don't try me. <laughs> and they almost like like that. But it's like a game for them a little bit. So they said one more. One more for Libra, please. Thank you. The timing just wasn't right for us and I am not available. So, I mean, people can change. I'm not saying people can't change. I'm just saying mindsets do take more than, you know, it takes a lot to change a mindset. And I do think that a special person can be the catalyst for that, um, but people only change when they want to, right? So I hope something here helps Libra. I hope it resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's move on to Scorpio. Okay, let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio here? What is this person hiding from Scorpio, please, Spirit? What is this person hiding from Scorpio? Oof, Scorpio. That you're their soulmate. That they want another chance. That this is someone from your past. That they feel so drawn to you that they feel like this has never, they've never felt like this before. Um, wow, tell me more about the Two of Cups, please, Spirit. The Ace of Cups, they could be another water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio, this person, yeah, you are it for them. Soulmates for me are people that you, like it just feels familiar, it feels easy, and that's because you already know each other on a soul level right? Um, this person wants to offer you their cup of love. They, they, they see no one else but you. Wow. Anything else for Scorpio? Best, best reading so far of the day, I feel, Scorpio. Um, let's see. Oh, what is this? I don't like this. So we got the star, we got the devil, and we got the eight of pentacles. So Aquarius and Capricorn energy. Tell me about the devil, please, spirit. The devil it can, is a blockage, right? It's, you know, it can be a mindset. It can be a pattern of behavior. Um, it can be a fear. Yeah, I feel like this person is fearful. They're fearful to take this, this leap of faith. Um, it's like they're hopeful for this here with you, Scorpio, but they're scared. They're scared to take this leap of faith. And I almost feel like it's because they know. Um, and here's the thing. This is with every relationship. It's, it's work right? It's work to be in a relationship. You have to try at it. You can't just expect it to just be perfect. Um, I feel like this person knows that. And so taking a leap into that is scary for them. Um, but they want to do it here. They really do. They have a lot of love for you here with that Ace of Cups and, and Two of Cups. I feel like this person... Um, this could be this person could be younger, but maybe they just don't have as much experience in like long term or like committed relationships. So it's just scary for them. I feel like they're working on it, though. Like I do feel like they're they're trying to work past these fears like this could even be like anxiety. Like they're the kind of person that's like, well, what if I get left? Like, what if I get abandoned? Like, what if what if what if what if? Right. So there is fear here, but there's a strong connection that I feel like they're it's like they're willing to work past that fear. Okay, so let's see if we can get a time for you. Every sign so far has been getting within the next few months, so we'll see if it happens for you too, Scorpio. Can I get a time for Scorpio, please? Thank you. Stop this right now. <laughs> 
I mean, I'm also seeing within the next few weeks, but I'm telling you every, like no word of a lie, Spirit's, Spirit's got a very clear message. And again, if this is repetitive because you've watched other signs, I apologize. But the, the collective energy I'm feeling is that, um, you know, people are gonna have fun for the first few weeks of summer, do their thing, what have you. And then they're gonna like realize like, wait, I wanna do this without someone else. I wanna share this with someone else. Right? I want to, um, whatever they're doing as a single person, going out or like going on adventures, what have you, they're like, I want to do this with someone. I don't want to just like be single doing this. So that's the energy I'm getting. So within the next few months, I feel like a lot of people are going to get messages or are going to be connecting with um, whoever it, it, it might be. So let's see if this person has hidden messages for you here, Scorpio. Thank you. Finding out the truth crushed me. So perhaps this is someone from your past that a truth was revealed in some way. Only take that if it resonates. Uh, we both know I am not the one for you. That's interesting. I am afraid to contact you. I'm telling you, this person is, is nervous, is nervous. But you know what this is for me? Again, this is that fear. I feel like this is almost like um, not feeling enough feeling insecure, feeling like not worthy of you, Scorpio, um, not worthy of this kind of connection, this kind of, because this is deep, right? So they could just kind of say this to themselves, try to convince themselves to, in order to convince you, in order to fulfill their self-fulfilling prophecy belief of I'm not good enough, right? Because as humans, we do that. Even though we want love, we do that. Okay, Scorpio, so I hope something there resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's move on to Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. Spirit. Spirit, what can you tell me what this person is hiding from Sagittarius? What is this? Whoa. That was a lot. Wow, we got the lovers, the king of swords the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Hierophant. Wow, Sag, you got a lot going on here. You could be dealing with a Gemini or a Taurus um, or even a Scorpio. Um, doesn't have to be though. This person's in love with you. They're so nervous to come forward here and talk to you. Um, th this is gonna come out of nowhere here though. And this person wants higher level of commitment. This person loves you. They are in love with you. They see you as it, you like, this could be Twin Flame. Excuse me, it doesn't have to be. My throat chakra is just doing it, its thing, which tells me this person has issues communicating at times. Um, they're nervous. There's a lot of anxiety here. It's like they want to work together here with you to come together. Um, but I feel like this person, they, they, are, they are in their head a lot. Um, they're very analytical. They're problem solvers. So like just feeling what they're feeling and going with it is, is, is hard for them. But this person is going to come out of nowhere and, and offer you commitment here. I feel like expect the unexpected here, Sagittarius. This person is, you know, they don't see anyone but you. There's deep, deep, deep love here. And I feel like this person is willing to put in the work, is willing to, um, you know, understand what you need and do what they need to do to make this work. The sense of like teamwork, right? Um, so if you feel like this person, if you already know who this person is um, and you felt like they, there was like a lack of, of partnership or teamwork before, this person realizes they need to step up. If this is someone brand new, they're, they're, you're going to be drawn to them too. Like with the lover's energy here, it's like you're drawn to each other. Um, it's almost like a magnet, right? But the, you make this person nervous. I feel like this whole connection makes this person nervous. I feel like commitment makes this person nervous as well right but it's like they can't keep doing what they're doing like the tower is like it, it's enough is enough like they have to keep going they have to start this new phase here right um anything else about the tower please spirit thank you look at that whoo i just got chills sagittarius yeah look at the sun at the bottom sagittarius okay i thought scorpio had a really good reading i think you you're taking the cake now sagittarius this could definitely be a twin flame, but this is also soulmate energy, right? Like they're, they expect the unexpected. You're going to meet someone and all, like if you haven't already and just be drawn to them and they're going to be drawn to you. Like this is like you, you guys already decided before you got here, you have a soul contract that says we're going to meet up in the physical world and we're going to be together, right? In a higher level of commitment. I feel like you're both kind of nervous, honestly, um, but this is going to come out of nowhere. It's going to, it's going to. Let's see if we can get you a time here, Sagittarius. There's a lot of love here though, a lot of love. 
everyone so far has been getting within the next few months. So we'll see if that happens with you too, Sagittarius. Spirit, can you give me, um, thank you. We got perfect timing. Okay, so that's definitely just telling you divine timing here. You know, it's going to happen exactly when it's supposed to. So it's going to be different for all of you. But then we got within the next few weeks. Okay, so, so be, you know, and here's the thing, Saj. If you're constantly looking for it, like, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. You're pushing it away. Just know that it's coming, right? Pretend like it's, you have to act like when you're, when you're manifesting these types of connections, you have to act like, it's an Amazon order. Like when you order, you order it and you leave it alone and you already know what's coming, right? And then when it gets there, you're like, oh, that's nice, it's here today, right? But you don't keep checking. Are they, are they sure they're gonna deliver it? Maybe got my address wrong. Maybe something happened, like, you know, obviously there's different circumstances, but what I'm, the energy I'm trying to give you is just let it go. Let it go because it's coming and it's gonna come at a very unexpected time and it's gonna make you very happy and this person very happy. Whew. Best reading of the night, Sagittarius, so far. I should say day, because it is daytime, but beautiful. All right, Sagittarius, so if something resonated with you, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's move on to Capricorn. Okay. Spirit, what can you tell me about... Capricorn and this person. Thank you for the messages so far. What is this person not telling Capricorn, please, Spirit? What is this person hiding from Capricorn? Thank you. The Three of Cups. Okay, tell me more. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Okay. This person, um, they want to come, they could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They, they want to come rushing for, they, yeah, the, I feel like this is someone who wants another chance. They want to come rushing forward. I feel like they want to apologize here. I feel like um, th there's a lot of anxiety here. This person's really nervous to come forward here. Um, I, I feel like you wouldn't even know that about them because I feel like they're the type of person where they just put up a, a front here, like like nothing's bothering them. Um, I am seeing the Empress there. Yeah, like this person knows you're it here, Capricorn. Tell me about that Three of Cups, please. I feel like this person wants to get to a space of like... I was... Okay, before I show you the cards, I know I already looked at them, so you don't have to believe me, but what I was going to say is they want to get to a space of, like, the good old times. Like, have... have Get back to a space of, like, um, you know, you're enjoying each other and, like, you know... Um, you're just having you're having fun in order for them to to come forward because i feel like they want to apologize for something here and then look at this i got the six of cups and the fool so i do feel like this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you here aries energy this person wants to get back to those good old times you know especially i saw the the judgment at the bottom before and now the six of cups capricorn i definitely feel like this is someone you've already dealt with this is someone from your past right i feel like um they, they, I feel like they're even working on building up the friendship again. There's definitely a strong, passionate, physical attraction between the two of you. And I feel like, um, you know, I feel like this person definitely wants that with you, but they're not just looking for that. Like, I feel like they're like, no, like, they, and they want to apologize here. I feel like um, it could start as this. You know, maybe the two of you will just be like, you know, you're so drawn to each other and that happens, right? Where you're just like, okay, like, yeah, we enjoy each other. Like physically, we enjoy each other. We have a good time. But I do feel like this person is is wanting to take a leap of faith, like, you know, and, and take it further than that is what I'm getting. Um, tell me about the fool, please, spirit. Tell me about the fool. It could be a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. It could be a fire sign, an Aries. Yeah, look at that. Cancer and Aries here. This, yeah, look at that. This, I asked to clarify the fool. This person wants movement forward here. They want to step up to the plate here. You are their wish fulfillment. They want you part of their world. They feel like you complete them. They feel like whatever cycle the two of you are going through right now, they want that to be over. They don't want that to be the case anymore. They want to move past it. Um, they, they want this here with you. I feel like they're building up the courage to um, step into this divine masculine energy. It doesn't mean they have to be a male. They just want to take action. They want to take leadership, right? They want to step up to the plate. They want to show you. But again, I also feel like this is person. This is a person who like can come off like nothing bothers them, right? But they're quite nervous. They are a Capricorn. Like they're actually. I feel like they don't stop thinking about this or you. 
Um, tell me about the Page of Cups. They could be younger than you. They never let this go. They never let this go. I feel like they, they could have been the one that walked away, but they never let this go. I feel like they want to apologize for causing like an imbalance in the relationship too. Like maybe they even like kind of distanced themselves emotionally a little bit. I feel like they had other stuff going on. Um, but I feel like they, they're holding on to this. They haven't let you go here and they want to apologize. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. Thank you for the messages so far. Yeah, look, at, I'm telling you, they want to offer you something here. They want to offer you something solid. I feel like they want a fresh start with you here, Capricorn. So whatever has gone on, you know, I strongly feel like this is someone from your past with that Six of Cups. Whatever has gone on, they literally want to leave the past in the past and like start fresh here with you. You are it for them. You make them so happy. Spirit just reminded me that you have two nines here back to back as well. So you could be seeing um, nines. But when my cards start to sync up, it's also a way of telling me like this is a significant relationship in your life right? This is not, this is like you're teaching them something deep and they're teaching you something deep. Um, so we have Aries energy, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, we have Libra, um, we have a little bit of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a little bit of Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, but let's see if we can get a time for you here, Capricorn. Can you give me a time? Um, everyone's been getting within the next few months, so we'll see if that happens for you too, Capricorn. Can you give me a time, please, Spirit? Thank you. We got perfect timing. So it's gonna be different for all of you here. Um, divine timing is at play here, but I do feel like this person feels a sense of urgency to come forward here, to talk to you, to let you know, to apologize, um, and to have a fresh new beginning here with you. Can we get anything else for Capricorn, please, Spirit? It's so tricky to shuffle like six cards, but these are the only time cards. Whoa, <laughs> I said that one. We got to take action. So, you know, it's interesting, Capricorn, because if you feel like you're waiting for this person to come forward to you, they could be feeling the same. So it might even just be that text of like, hey, how are you doing? That might like open the floodgates for this person to be like, okay, wait, Capricorn is okay with me reaching out and is okay with talking to me. Um, if this person was inconsistent before, maybe even breadcrumbed you, I feel like they like, they don't want that. I feel like this is a whole new cycle. They see you as part of their world. They want this here with you. I think there's some hidden messages here for you, Capricorn. So let's see what there is. Please, Spirit, tell me. Thank you. I hid who I really am from you. I feel you even though we are apart. And I want to tell you how I feel. You were the best thing in my life. I'm telling you, Capricorn, this person, um, th they want you. They, like, you are their wish fulfillment. You are everything. You, you are perfect. And I feel like this person wants to step up and they want to show you that. They're nervous though. They're real nervous to come forward. They just asked me to pull on that. Interesting. Tell me about that Nine of Swords, please, Spirit. They're up at night thinking about this though. Sleepless nights. Um, tell me about the Nine of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah, look at that. Like they could have they could have juggled, they could have made you feel like they like they were juggling. Um, even like, I don't even feel like it was other people, like just other priorities, but like you make them so happy. You have the nine and 10 of cups here. This person, like, it's almost like it's overwhelming a little bit Capricorn for how much this person cares. Like they, they, I don't think they've ever felt like this before. I want to tell you how I feel. I feel you even though we're apart, I hid who I really am from you. So I'm saying, I feel like they were, they could have even been in this emperor energy of like, nothing bothers me. I don't feel, you know, um, I don't, obviously everyone feels but they could have just made you feel that way like they're like they were pretty like um stone cold with their feelings but that's not how they actually feel they want they're going to take a leap of faith towards you and it's going to happen in perfect timing and i know that's not the best you know here's what i can say capricorn if you're constantly like when is it going to happen when is it going to happen when is it going to happen you're pushing it away because you're telling the universe it's not there and that you're lacking it so it's you know if you're in the energy of i know it's going to happen no problem when it does it does surrender let go that's when you allow it that's when you become in the receiving energy right in the divine feminine energy and i feel like this person is the divine masculine here they're going to take that action towards you right they just so interesting they just told me to go find the empress card and see what was next to it That's, that has never happened before in a reading but i'm curious now look at that we have the emp oh my gosh this is why and you have the two of cups there i hope you can see that but we have the empress we have the lovers and we have judgment 
This person wants a second chance because you are it. You are it for them. They're in love with you, Capricorn. Thank you, Spirit. That was that was really cool, actually, because they've never told me to do that before. Um, oh, and if you're new here, I don't I don't read reversals. I never have, but um, just so you're aware. But yeah, this this person wants another chance here, Capricorn. You are it. There's no better than you. There's no better than you. Not only do they feel like you're a perfect match, but they're like madly in love with you, and they want another chance. Okay, Capricorn. So. You know, the last few readings have been really good. Sagittarius, Scorpio had really good readings too. I hope that helped Capricorn. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's go on to Aquarius. For a second, I thought I was on Pisces, but I'm like, wait a second, no, Aquarius. Okay, let's see. Spirit, what can you tell me? Thank you for the messages so far. What is this person hiding from Aquarius? What is this person hiding from Aquarius? Please, Spirit. Okay, we're getting the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me more. They could be like throwing themselves into work right now, Aquarius. Um, so if they told you they're working on their money, that that's definitely true. But they're also they're also working on coming towards you. I feel like they find you very attractive. They definitely want a new start here with you. Um, there's there, yeah, there's a strong physical connection between the two of you. Um, tell me more, Spirit about how this person or what this person is not telling Aquarius. You could work with this person, Aquarius, and they have like a big crush on you. Um, I feel like they, uh, they have a big crush on you. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Um, we are getting the Five of Swords here. I feel like this person doesn't feel good enough for you, Aquarius. We're getting the Fool, the Nine of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person wants to take a leap of faith towards you, but I feel like they're self-sabotaging themselves. They're telling themselves all the reasons why they can't do it. They're telling themselves all the reasons why it won't work. I feel like this weighs heavy on them, especially if you work with this person, Aquarius. I feel like every time they see you at work, every time, like even if it's on Zoom or, you know, even in the office or like, or your name is mentioned, like it just comes flooding back in where they're like, oh my gosh, like I need to take a leap of faith towards Aquarius here. I feel like they're going to. Um, I'm going to get a time frame for you, but I do feel like they're sabotaging themselves right now. I think there's a lot of negative self-talk going on with this person, but they see you as wish fulfillment. Like they want you, Aquarius. Um, let's see if we can get a time for you, Aquarius. Spirit, what, what time do you have for Aquarius for this person? Everyone's been getting within the next few months, so we'll see. <laughs> Spirit's not playing around today. Within the next few months. Okay, Aquarius, within the next few months, just like the rest of the collective, it looks like. Um, tell me about the Ace of Wands, please, Spirit. No, they said no. Tell me about the Fool, because I do feel like this person is going to take a leap of faith. Tell me about the Fool. Yeah, they're hopeful. They could be an Aquarius, like yourself. They could be an Aries. They could also be um, a Leo or Sagittarius. They don't have to be, though. But this person's hopeful. Yeah, I feel like they're going to take a leap of faith. They're hopeful that this can work out here. Um, they're hopeful that you feel the same way. I, I strongly feel like you can work with this person. Maybe you're just working the same field. Um, or even like if you meet this person, they're working in a field you maybe were interested in or like went to school for or used to work in or something like that. Like there's something about work that the two of you have in common here. Um, but yeah, this person sees you as it here, Aquarius. Oof. The lovers, too. Yeah, this person, they, they want you. This could even start as just like a physical connection here, but this person realizes very quickly, like, you are their wish fulfillment. But there's a lot of negative self-talk going on with this person. I feel like they, um, yeah, they talk very negatively towards themselves. Let's see if we can get you some hidden messages here, Aquarius. Thank you. I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay. So they're just telling, you know, it could be mind games too. If you feel like this person, like, if you feel like you know, Aquarius, that this person has a thing for you, but they act like they don't or something like that, like they know what they're doing. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So if this is someone from your past here, Aquarius, or someone you're, you're already dealing with, um, any other messages for Aquarius here, please, Spirit? Thank you for the messages so far. Thank you. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So you could feel like you were that for this person, but so many things remind me of you. 
Okay. So let, I feel like I need to get you some advice here, Aquarius. Spirit, what, what advice do you have for Aquarius, please? Thank you. Gather information here. Stay open. Stay curious here. Um, and I feel like also be aware, Aquarius, if like your your if like past experiences are creeping in, kind of telling you. If there's red flags, for instance, in this experience that remind you of the past, just be aware of that. Like, stay open, stay, be aware, stay very alert is what I'm getting. Um, and that could also mean, you know, if this person, you know, is genuine and you feel that from them and they're giving you no reason to think otherwise, it could also be that your past is kind of creeping in telling you, no, 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 you can't trust this person right? Just based on experience, there's a difference between intuition and anxiety, right? Your anxiety will tell you, will ask you what if all the time, what if, what if, what if, what if, your intuition just knows, right? Okay, Aquarius, so I do hope something there resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. And let's move on to last, but definitely not least, we have our Pisces. Okay, so let's see. Spirit, thank you so much for the messages so far. What can you tell me, Spirit, about what is this person hiding from Pisces? What is this person hiding from Pisces, please? Ooh, <laughs> Pisces, are you dealing with a Gemini? You could be. Are they in hermit mode right now? Are they not talking to you? Are they, did they even ghost maybe a little bit? But this person, you're, they're in love with you, Pisces. They're in love with you. They want you and only you. I feel like they don't even know what to do with this love. I feel like this is spirit. This is the universe offering this, this connection. And they're like, they don't even know how to, how to take it. So this could be someone who self-sabotages. Um, doesn't have to be though, but I just feel like this person is almost like overwhelmed by how strongly they feel about you, Pisces. So they're not telling you that they love you, that they're in love with you and that they feel so strongly about you. I also feel like this person intuitively knows like this would be a missed opportunity if they didn't do this with you, Pisces. If they didn't engage in this connection and try at least and work past any fears they might have, they're like, well, what the hell? Like I just missed that uh, a love of a lifetime. Um, tell me more about how this person feels about Pisces, please, Spirit. They're confused. The Seven of Cups. They could be another water sign like yourself, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're confused. Yeah, I feel like this person doesn't think that they have... Look at that, two of cups at the bottom. This person doesn't know if they have what it takes to be with you, to accept this love. Um, I feel like there's a transformation going on here though. So especially if they're not talking to you right now, Pisces, I feel like this is their time to kind of um, transform themselves. So if something, if you already connected with this person and you know exactly who I'm talking about, but it ended, I feel like this person is working on um, gathering an understanding that they, what they, of what they deserve, but also what they can do. Like we are powerful manifestors, right? You can have, be, do anything you want. Your thoughts become things. So if this person is self-sabotaging in some way and they're just thinking like, I can't, I can't, I can't, or I don't deserve, I don't deserve, I don't deserve, then of course the physical world is going to reflect that. I feel like this person is understanding like they need to work on their thoughts here. Wow. Um, tell me about the Seven of Cups, please, Spirit. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What is this person not telling Pisces? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Wow. Yeah, they're trying to find, oh, okay, hold on a second. Tell me about that five of wands, please, spirit. Okay. I was like, that could go either way. Let me just make sure. Um, they're trying to find balance here, Sagittarius and Aquarius energy. I feel like there's a lot of inner turmoil going on. Like I was saying, I feel like there's, this person is fighting themselves. They're, they're trying to heal themselves right now, Pisces. So this is what they're not telling you, that they're not only are they trying to find balance within their own life um, and heal themselves, but they're very hopeful that by doing this, that the two of you can reconnect again. I do feel like that, or just, you know, um, be in this loving relationship because I think that both of you feel it. Both of you feel how strong this is. You can't deny the lover's energy, right? Um, it's so strong. I feel like the two of you just get along so well. I feel like there's so much happiness between the two of you. I feel like it just, it feels so comfortable. And I almost feel like this was like, again, this was overwhelming. This was overwhelming. But I also feel like this person's willing to fight for this. I do. 
I just open to the six of cups so it could be someone from your past here or there's just like a sense of like puppy love here like nostalgia like it just feels so good um let's see if we can get a time frame well let's see first anything else about what this person is not telling pisces what is this person not telling Pisces? Yeah, they want to offer you something here. They want to, they want to, look at that two of cups at the bottom again. Pisces, this person wants a fresh new beginning here with you. Look at the fool, the tower. It's going to come out of nowhere here. The queen of cups, this person, I feel like they could also be spying on you here. <laughs> even though they're in hermit mode, doing their thing. Sorry, I know they're upside down, but I don't read reversals. They're, even though they're maybe not talking, they're spying. They're kind of looking, seeing what you're doing. Um, but Pisces, this person wants to offer you something solid here. Um, I feel like it's going to come out of nowhere here, but I'm going to see if I can get a time frame for you. They want a fresh new beginning here with you, Pisces. They do. They want something solid here with you. Can you everyone's been getting within the next few months, so we'll see if it's the same for you, Pisces. Spirit, can you tell me about a time frame for Pisces and this person, please? Thank you. Spirit's not playing today. Within the next few months and wait. I also feel like trust is very important right now. Um, and I'm seeing a year from now, but you know what this is telling me, Pisces? I feel like a year from now, you're going to look back and be like, things are so different now. I feel like there's like big, big, big happy changes coming for the two of you. Um, but what I was saying in the other um, signs, Pisces, is there's this collective energy of like, everyone's kind of enjoying like hot girl summer, hot boy summer at first, where like being single, going out with your friends, whatever, doing your thing. But everyone's going home at the end of the night being like, I want to share this with someone right like i i do like so you know i feel like the first little bit of summer even could be that of like enjoying like singlehood whatever but like in the subconscious like and every time going home being like i want to share this with someone i want to go on these adventures with someone right um that's that's just a collective energy i'm feeling where people are realizing like okay like you know being single is fun right but at the end of the day like sharing it with someone is even better and so i feel like um that's what's going on here Okay, let's see if we can get some hidden messages here for you, Pisces. Spirit, what hidden messages do you have for Pisces, please? Thank you for the messages so far. Thank you. You and I were too young. So you could have been with this person before at a, at a younger age, but I'm also getting like even like, like emotional maturity. It, there could have been a difference there where maybe one of you, this person, um, was not ready emotionally. I left you before you could leave me. Wow. And I know I messed up everything. I feel you even though we are apart. I'm going to, I feel like there's a couple more. I left you before you could leave me. So this person, again, with the, like, I feel like the inner battle, they, they, um, struggle with like self-worth I feel it was my fault but I blamed you I knew exactly what I was doing I regret lying to you so Pisces like especially if this is someone I know I messed up everything like this person is well aware right they want a fresh new start with you and I feel like they can't I hope that you can forgive me one day I feel like they, they, they can't deny how strongly they feel about you so even if they do take these next few weeks I don't feel like Here's the thing, I'm not collectively getting an energy of like people like going around, like sleeping around, like whatever. I mean, of course there will be people who do that, but collectively the energy I'm feeling is that people are just like, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna go have fun with my friends, right? But then after a few weeks, like it just starts to feel like this isn't fun anymore, right? Like I miss my Pisces or like I met, like this is literally like the energy I've gotten for like a lot of the signs tonight. So, um, yeah, I, I hope that helps in some way, Pisces. I hope it resonated with you. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Um, love and light.